Hello and welcome to another edition of Overtime on the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brightwell at beautiful FedEx Park on the Park Avenue campus of the University of Memphis. It was another championship weekend for the University of Memphis for the second time this year. A team brought on a title and we've got more going to the NCAA tournament. A lot of excitement for Memphis, so let's take a look. Men's tennis hosted the 2013 Conference USA Championships at Memphis University School over the weekend with a field of six top 75 teams. Friday, the Tigers took on UAB for the second time in a week. And after downing the Blazers last Friday 4-0, Memphis followed suit and dropped UAB again in the quarterfinals, setting up with a semifinal matchup with the Rice on Saturday. On Saturday, Rice gave Memphis a run for their money in the doubles point, but after an 8-1 win from Johnny Grimmel and Lucas Verdak, the number 51 doubles team of David O'Hare and Joe Salisbury sealed the point with an 8-6 win. Singles play was all Memphis with quick wins at number 4, 5, and 6 to shut out the Owls and put the Tigers in the finals against Tulsa for a second straight year. In the championship match Sunday, the Tiger supporters poured into MUS Tennis Complex and Memphis thanked them by taking early advantage of the match, claiming the doubles point thanks to big wins from Connor Glennon and Cedric DeZuter at number two, winning 8-4, followed by another 8-4 win at number one from O'Hare and Salisbury. Tulsa knotted it up at one apiece with a 6-3, 6-3 win at number two singles over Joe Salisbury, but clutch wins from O'Hare at number 6, 6-3, six, 6-3, three, six, three, and Lucas Verdak at number 3, 6-4, six, 6-0, six, oh, put the Tigers back up 3-1 and went in one point of the title. After dropping the first set, David O'Leary battled back to win the second set at number 5 singles, but Tulsa's Carlos Bautista held on for the three-set win to give the Hurricane their second point. It all came down to number 1 and number 4 singles of Glennon and Grimmel seeking glory for Memphis. Both matches were in their third sets when Glennon Came back after dropping the first set, now leading in the third. Grimmel also leading in the third set. It was Grimmel's day to shine, though, after a long back and forth battle. The Memphis crowd helped push Grimmel to the championship point and clinch Memphis' first Conference USA title in program history with a 6 2, 3 6, 6 4 win. Oh, best moment of my life. Like, literally, best moment of my life. Like, that's why we've, we've been practicing. That's what, kind of, that's why we've been. Every single workout, every single practice, every single thing we've done was for that moment. So we're not satisfied at all. Like, don't get me wrong, like, we're so happy, but we're still in civilization now. The win gives Memphis an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. The Tigers now await their seed in the NCAA selection show, and that will be on April 30th. The women's tennis team was in Houston for the Conference USA tournament, looking to make a championship run of their own. On Friday, the Tigers took on UCF in the quarterfinals of the tournament and cruised to a 4-0 win over the Knights. After relinquishing only one game to claim the doubles point, Memphis sealed their spot in the semifinals with decisive wins at number one, two, and four singles, clinching the victory before the final three singles matches could finish. Then on Saturday, Memphis looked for revenge against Tulsa after falling to the Golden Hurricane 4-2 earlier in the season on two occasions. Tulsa took the doubles point with wins at number two and three, but Tiffany Welcher and Alyssa Hubbard gave Memphis a 2-1 lead with wins at number two and five singles. Tulsa would tie it back up with a win at number three singles over Lisa Timchenko, but once again, the Tigers took the lead thanks to Caroline Wegner's 1-6, 6-3, 6-0 win at number four singles. After the Hurricane tied it back with a win at number one, the match came down to a third set overtime point at the number six match. But despite a hard fought battle from Stephanie McKesh, Tulsa hung on for the 4-3 win to advance to the Conference USA Finals against Rice. Tigers will now await their seating for the NCAA Tournament and that will be in May. Track and Phil competed at two locations over the weekend at the War Eagle Invitational at Auburn, and one runner was up in Candace for the relays this weekend. Let's go down to the Plains at Auburn, and it was Godfrey Fain winning the 800 meter for the men. Kyle Bynum picked up a win in the javelin. On the women's side, Vivian Brandoff won the shot putt, and the women's team won the 4 by 400 meter relay. Then up in Candace, the athlete the men sent, Dan Kuman won the 10K. Memphis now gets ready for their final regular season competition this weekend. They'll go to the Red Wolf Invitational up in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Baseball team hosted Southern Mississippi here at FedEx Park over the weekend in a crucial three-game Conference USA series. Friday night, the Tigers took a 3-1 lead in the seventh, but costly errors led to a 4-1-8 for the Golden Eagles and a 5-3 game one win. 
On Saturday, Southern Miss bats lit up Memphis, and the Eagles claimed the series with a decisive 8-1 win. The Tigers were able to salvage a win on Sunday thanks to a stellar pitching performance from Alex Gunn. Memphis held on to win it 2-1. The Tigers are back at AutoZone Park tonight. They'll host Mississippi State before traveling to Greenville, North Carolina this weekend for a three-game set with ECU. Softball traveled to Greenville over the weekend to face the Pirates, and the Pirates came away with a sweep in three close games, winning 2-1, 4-2, and 4-3. Memphis currently 21-32, 8-12 in Conference USA. Softball will host their final home games of the season this weekend at the Tiger Softball Complex when they host the Houston Cougars. Well, for this week's feature, we made our way back to the ballpark where the freshmen won the battle of the upperclassmen again in the Tiger Baseball Showcase Showdown. You remember what happened last time, but this time we did it a little bit different, family feud style. So let's take a look. Welcome to the Showcase Showdown, episode two, the revenge episode. With us again, we have the freshmen of the baseball team and the upperclassmen. Let's go to the freshmen first. So introduce yourself and tell me about your team. Hello, I'm Michael Sillyman, and this is my teammate Colin Lee, pitcher, left-handed, and this is Corey Chafin. He is a catcher. He's also a freshman. And, you know, we're just we're out here because last time we got, got screwed, but, you know, we're out here to get some revenge on these guys. All right, thank you very much. Sound like it's going to be a heated day. Uh, introduce yourself and uh, tell me about your team. I'm a junior out of Arlington High School. Number 32, Jonathan Van Eaton. To my left is a left-handed pitcher out of Christian Brothers High School, Michael Wills. And on my far left, out of Independence High School, number four, Ford Wilson. It's great to meet you all. Let's get started. Bring you up to the front of the table here. Please come up here. All right, let me ask you one question here. Whoever answers first, give me what your quickest answer is. Ready. Name a professional sports team that's named after a bird. Atlanta Hawks. Is it on the board? Would you like to play or pass? Dang it, silly, go to play. We're gonna play. They're gonna play, let's go. He said Hawks is on the board, give me Another professional sports team that's named after a bird. Uh, the St. Louis Cardinals. Survey says... <laughs> it is on the board. All right, same question. Name a professional sports team that is named after a bird. I'm going to go with the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> that is on the board. Ooh, All right, we're going through. We still have a couple more answers here. Same question. Don't mess up. There's mm. one in the, in the inner city of Memphis. So far, we have the Falcons. It's okay. We have the Cardinals. And we have... The uh, Memphis Redbirds. Is that on there? <laughs> no, that is not. Sorry, that's one strike. It's, professional, it's professional baseball. <laughs> Survey did not say it. Baseball. Survey did not say that. All right. Once again, that's one strike. You got two more left. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays. Is that up there? Two more teams left to go on the board. One strike down. I'm going to go with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Is that up there? Let's see. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Great. Boom. Love that. Two strikes left. One more answer. Two more answers. Baltimore Orioles. Is that up there? <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Yeah. Last one. If you get this, you take the points. If not, we'll pass it on over to the, uh, the freshman. Uh, we're going to take the points and go with the Arizona Cardinals. Is that up there? <laughs> no, it is not. I'm sorry. What? Survey did not say the Cardinals. All right. Two strikes on the board. We're going to go to you. Final answer. Can we collaborate? No, you cannot. You can co start collaborating, though, if you can. This will go to the freshman if you do not get it correct. Can we read out the answers that have already been? We can. We have had St. Louis Cardinals, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Atlanta Falcons, the Baltimore Orioles, the Toronto Blue Jays, and the Atlanta Hawks. One more left. <laughs> what? 
I'm at a loss. Um, Five seconds on the clock. I don't know. <laughs> all right. We will take it. It's not on the board, Ford. We will take it over to the freshman. Their chance to steal the points. We're gonna go with that. Where are going? Yeah, we're going. What are you going to go with? We are going to go with the Seattle Seahawks. Is that on the board? Oh. <laughs> no, it is not. Oh, let's see what it is. Oh, all right. Really? Way to blow it, bro. Hey, blind side. So, so the points. Go back to the upperclassmen. And I have an 88 points for that first question. Let's go on to question number two. Let's get our second contestants up to the front here. All right, gentlemen. Second question. Name something that is given away for free at baseball games to attract fans. Upperclassmen, again, go for it. Tickets. Is it on the board? Yes, it is. All right, they're on the board. Would you like to play or pass? What do you want to do? Uh, can we collaborate? You can talk about it. You have a second. Three seconds. Uh, we're going to play it. They're going to play. All right, let's go back to the board here. All right. First one. So up there right now, we got tickets. We have five more answers that can be on that board All right. for a total of 97 points. And for your answer for name something given away for free at baseball, at baseball games to attract fans. Uh, bobbleheads. Is it on the board? <laughs> no, it is not. I am sorry. That's one strike right away. One strike. All right. Back to the top here. Name something. Given away at baseball games to attract fans. T-shirts. Is it on the board? <laughs> yes, it is. All right, we got two on the board. Four more answers to go. Same question, name something at baseball games given away for free. Uh, autographs. Is it on the board? Let's take a look. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, we got three up there. Coming back to you, see if you can redeem yourself. Well, I hope so. Uh, foam fingers. Is foam fingers on the board? <laughs> no, it is not. And that is two strikes. You have one more strike left. All right. Name something given away for free at baseball games. Are they allowed to collaborate? They are allowed to collaborate. Baseballs. Is that on the board? <laughs> All right. A couple more answers left here. How many? We have two answers left on the board. One strike. Name something given away for free at a baseball game to attract fans. Can you repeat what's on the, on the board? On the board right now, we have baseballs, t-shirts, tickets, and autographs. Two more answers left. I'm going to go with hats. Is hats on the board? <laughs> the number one answer on the board is hats, and he's got it. We have one more left. We have the... The fifth answer left on the board. Can you redeem yourself with one strike left? Tough one. Could be tough. Thinking back to my last professional baseball game I went to, I'm going to go with uh, coupons. Coupons. He says coupons. Is that on the board? <laughs> no, it is not. And all three strikes go to him. You got one more answer left on the board. No, you guys think you know what you got? Yeah. We're going to go with game programs. Game programs, is it on the board? <laughs> no, it is not. And the final answer is. <laughs> well, we surveyed a lot of people. There's a hundred there, so it is tough. All right. It's okay, you're not out of it yet. It is the last. We have 168 points over here this last round is with 97 times two, here we go. And the final question, ooh, little competition here. Now guys, is your chance to redeem yourselves? Jackie <laughs> All right, final question is, you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Name something a baseball player might be holding during a game. Ooh, I'll have to give it to the freshman that time. A baseball glove. <laughs> is it on the board? 
Yes, it is. All right. Would you like to play or pass? We're playing. They're playing. All right. We'll take it to the table here. All right. It's going to start with you. Name something a baseball player might be holding during a baseball game. Well, they're probably going to be holding a baseball bat. Is that on the board? <laughs> All right. They got two. All right. Three more answers to go here. No strikes. So far, we've got a bat and we've got a baseball. Glove. Oh, baseball glove. Oh. Well, I'm going to go with they will be holding a baseball. <laughs> Is that on the board? <laughs> All right. Baseball is on the board. We have two more answers left. Two more answers left. Ready? You can't ask me. You can't collaborate. So far, we have baseball, baseball glove, and bat. Batting gloves. Is batting gloves on the board? Yes, it is. It is on the board. All right. Final question. We have three strikes. No, we have zero strikes. You have zero strikes. You're still three strikes. Final question. Name something a baseball player would be holding during a game. Sometimes it's on their heads, but they're going to be holding a helmet. Is that on the board? <laughs> no, it is not on the board. All right. That's all right. That's all right. You still got two strikes left. All right. You ready? Something you might be holding at any time during the game. You could be holding. Well, I'm going to have to go with you will be holding your baseball cleats walking out. It's baseball cleats on the board. It might be. <laughs> no, it is not. Court. All right. It all comes down to you here. Holding you could take the game. Take you might be holding during any time during a baseball game. You guys can collaborate, so you might have this answer. I'm going to go with sunflower seeds. Ooh, it's sunflowers. That's a good one. I never heard that one before. Sunflower seeds on the board. Oh, and it is. And they take double the points. And they go home with the championship. So, that's unfortunate, guys. It's not over yet. What we're doing is we're doing a lightning round here. Yourself, pick pick two players on your team. You want to go for the lightning round. All right, we'll, all right, we'll take here. Come on up here first. All right. Yes. You got to go back to the dugout. After this, we'll come back for the lightning round. All right, we're back here for the lightning round. Lightning round, here's how it goes. Five questions, answer them as quickly as you can. You have 30 seconds to do so. And after you're done, we'll see how many points you got that. And uh, you have to get to 250 points, so your partner has to come back out and try and get to that. Okay. 250 points, you win. You get to hit them with two pies in the face. If not, you still get your one. Okay. okay. But if he loses, we should get one. Put 30 seconds on the clock, please. Ready. 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 Question number one, ready? Start the clock. Name something superstitious people think is bad luck. Uh, black cat. Name a deodorant brand. Uh, Old Spice. Give another word or phrase for beautiful. Gorgeous. Name a food you eat with your fingers. Chicken fingers. <laughs> something specific that fans argue with umpires during the game. Balls and strikes. All right, ding, ding, ding. Let's stop it right there. So let's see what they got on the board. Ooh, a nice round. We got 143 points for you. Congratulations. Thank you can head you. back over here. Let's bring your partner out here. All right, here he comes. He does get 35 seconds. He gets 35 seconds. All right, so here's the deal. You have to get 250 points. Your partner here got you 143 points. Pretty good round, all right? So here's, how, here's the way this works. I'm going to ask you five questions. Answer them as quickly as possible. If you say one of the answers that he said last round, you're going to get buzzed, and you have to come up with something else. And you can skip an answer and come back to it. You only have 35 seconds to do this. Okay? All right. First question. Name something superstitious people think is bad luck. What? Skip. Okay. Name a deodorant brand. Dove. Give another word or phrase for beautiful. Gorgeous. Be uh, hot. Name a food you eat with your fingers. 
pizza. Something specific that fans argue with umpires during the game. Uh, balls and strikes. Outs. All right, coming back to that first question. Name something superstitious people think is bad luck. Time up. All right, time's up. Let's see what he got on the board there. He didn't get them all quite, but let's see. Let's check and see what he got. Name something superstitious as bad luck. You did not get anything up there. Name a deodorant brand. You said Dove. Not up there. Give another word or phrase for beautiful. You said hot. Not up there. Name a food you eat with your fingers. You said pizza. That is up there. All right, and finally you said something specific that fans argue with the umpires during the game. You said outs. That is correct. He has 206 up there. Unfortunately, he did not get the 250. But the good thing is you still get to pie them in the face. You ready to do this? Yeah. Yeah, you won. All right. Go ahead. John, prepare to meet your maker. All right, one down. Would you like to say anything to him before you do this? I still love you. <laughs> All right. That's two down. And we have one more left. Anything you'd like to say? Any last words before you get them? Four wheel bend! Well, it looks like we have a rubber match coming up. Thank you very much for watching the Showcase Showdown Family Feud Edition. Until next time, I'm Jared Brown. Remember, you can watch this feature and all the features if you go to YouTube and search the Memphis Tiger Network. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and for all the official information on Memphis Tiger Athletics, go to GoTigersGo.com. For another edition of Overtime on the Memphis Tiger Network, I'm Jeff Brightwell.